Hi everybody, I'm Sue Allen Clayton. Welcome to my channel where we'll be learning the tarot cards one card at a time. Today's card is number 16, the Tower, in the Major Arcana. I'm using the Rider Weight Tarot deck and you'll find the link below the video. I've also linked to the many books I've used in my research. In this video, we'll discuss what the Tower card means when it appears in a reading, the symbolism of the Tower card, the meaning of the Tower card when it is upright and reversed, including some examples from my life, and at the end, I'll provide you with some questions to help you better connect with this card. So let's get started. So the Tower is another frightening card from the Major Arcana. We're on a roll given that we just discussed the Death card, which is number 13, and the Devil card, which is number 15. Once we get through the Tower, then things get a lot more pleasant for the rest of our journey through the Major Arcana, with the possible exception of the Judgment card, which is number 20. Looking at the Tower card, we see a white watchtower against a black background. It is perched on a mountaintop. The tower has been struck by lightning and the crown on the top has been knocked onto an angle. Fire has overtaken the tower. You can see white smoke and yellow flames against the black sky. The tower on this card is a stone fortress on a mountain, with no doors and high windows. It was probably built to be impenetrable from whatever form of bad guys lived in those days, yet it still manages to get struck by lightning and partially destroyed. Two figures are falling from the tower. The female figure on the right is wearing a crown and a blue dress. The male figure on the left is wearing a red cape over a blue tunic. Many people believe that these figures are Adam and Eve being freed and purified from the previous devil card. We first saw this card in the lover's card, number six, when everything was sunny and lovely. Then we saw them paying for their sins in the devil card, which is number 15. And now we see the poor couple being tossed out of a tower, where hopefully they will meet a soft landing. This card is about shocking, unexpected changes that create upheaval in our lives. These might include an accident, sudden illness, job loss, infidelity, or something from nature such as a fire or a tornado. Although these events are incredibly difficult when they happen, they can result in positive outcomes and growth in your life. It can free you from a situation and allow you to start over. Another message of this card is that nothing is immune from destruction. So let's talk about the symbols in the Tower card. This tower is based on the Tower of Babel. We find the story in the book of Genesis in the Bible. Basically, Babylonians wanted to build a tower that reached the heavens, mainly for the purpose of showing off to God. God did not like this. He destroyed the tower and scattered the workers. The tower card can also represent Zeus, the king of the gods, who protected both God and man. He was the god of lightning. His weapon was a thunderbolt, which is clearly what caused the destruction in this card. Falling figures can literally represent the fallout from a disaster. Clearly you could not see anything in the black sky until lightning struck. Then you could see... The lightning strike and subsequent fire can represent change and rebirth. The lightning bolt is the symbol of enlightenment and purification. It illuminates the dark so that we can see what is hidden. That is why the tower is a symbol of spiritual awakening. The 22 droplets of fire represent the 22 major arcana cards and the 22 letters in the Hebrew alphabet. The presence of the Hebrew alphabet is a reminder that God is present and is orchestrating the events of the tower. A crown is a symbol of worldly power, status, and self-importance. The falling crown symbolizes a loss of status. This card shows that royalty can't beat Mother Nature. This is similar to the message in the death card, number 16, where we see that the rider has trampled the king. It shows his exalted position in life could not protect him from death. The tower also looks like a phallic symbol. Take a look at the tilted crown and flames coming out of the tower, which can represent sexual orgasm. A watchtower represents protection and security. This tower looks inaccessible. It was built on a mountaintop that looks very steep and craggy, so theoretically it should be very strong and safe. 
However, you could speculate that it was built on a very shaky foundation since it could not withstand a single lightning bolt. There are no visible doors and three windows. It's almost like the tower is a prison. It makes me think of the fairy tale of Rapunzel where she is locked in a tower by an evil witch. Rapunzel escapes by braiding her hair. In the tarot card, you escape by having lightning destroy the tower and jumping out. I am curious what happens to this couple once they reach the ground. I'm guessing they are pretty beat up. Yet, if they are still alive, they are free. The three windows represent a very symbolic number. Among these things, it represents the Holy Trinity, which is the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The female figure on the right is wearing a crown and a blue dress. Blue represents the unconscious. She has red shoes that represent conscious actions. The overwhelming amount of blue demonstrates that she relies on her subconscious. The male figure on the left is wearing a red cape over a blue tunic. These are the same colors shown in the woman, only in an equal balance. The red cape represents the conscious actions, and the blue represents subconscious actions. When the tower appears in a reading, it is frequently about external upheaval, which are things you can't control. I'll warn you, this is a long list of things that the tower might represent. However, this card is so dramatic, I felt that it deserves some serious attention. Some of the messages of the tower include, Your world is suddenly turned upside down by unexpected news or unwanted change. I have experienced this twice when my husband lost his job, and we had to move thousands of miles away for a new one. It is like a gut punch. When the tower shows up at a reading, it could mean destruction is happening in order to build something better. Or divine intervention has arrived to change your world. It can represent bankruptcy or financial ruin. It can represent collapse of an institution. One example is the Boy Scouts of America. What was thought to be a wholesome organization filed for bankruptcy in 2020 after receiving almost 83,000 claims of sexual abuse. It could represent suddenly ending a relationship, such as by divorce, or a sudden change in health. As I make this video, my aunt was just diagnosed with leukemia, and that qualifies. It can represent anger, violence, or being under attack. It can also represent being released from imprisonment. This doesn't mean that you just got parole and are no longer incarcerated, although it could. I felt like this after I had a knee replacement. Previously, I was in so much pain that I could barely drive. After the surgery, I got my life back. It can also represent a revelation that changes everything. We had a situation in my family with my grandfather. When he was 18 and went to get his driver's license, he learned that he was adopted. It was a complete shock. This changed his view of the past and his view of his parents for lying to him. The tower card can mean a flash of inspiration or releasing energy so that things can change. And it could literally mean that you will be moving. So here's an example from my life. There is a very funny TV show called Schitt's Creek that is about a family who goes through a tower experience. They are very rich and they become poor overnight due to a tax scandal. They move to the town of Schitt's Creek into a dilapidated motel that they purchased as a joke. Their shallow and entitled son and daughter move from living in a mansion to sharing a crappy hotel room. As the five seasons progress, they create a new life that is actually better than the one they had before. When the tower is reversed in a reading, it is often about internal upheaval. You are clinging to your old way of life. You are avoiding or resisting change and refusing to let go. You are ignoring a traumatic situation that you know is coming. It is time to heed a warning. You are not learning from a traumatic situation. Disaster has been averted, or you need to be prepared for what comes next. I think a good example of resisting change has to do with letting your kids grow up. We want to think they're still five years old and you are the center of their world. Refusing to let them grow up, for example, by going off to college, which felt hugely traumatic to me, means that you are clinging to your old way of life. But it really doesn't nobody any good to cling to the past. Kids are made to grow up and leave the nest, 
and you don't want to metaphorically clip their wings and have them living in your basement for the rest of their lives. It also robs you of growing into the next phase of your life. Now that I'm a little older, I see a similar situation with aging parents, or even as I age. I want to believe that we are the same healthy, vibrant people that we were 30 years ago. Sadly, this is not true, and we need to be prepared for what comes next. So here are some questions to help you get to know the Tower card. Number one, what structures are limiting your life? Where are you stuck? From what do you need to be set free? Number two, what is stopping you from making changes in your life? Number three, have you ever experienced a Tower moment? How did you handle it? Did it eventually lead to a positive outcome? Number four, how do you feel about your home? Is it time to move? And number five, are you heeding warnings in your life? I'd love to have you post your answers in the comments below the video. And next, please join me for card number 17, the star.